you probably ask yourselves, what was the picture of the oysters having to do with the picture of Lake Sevan? And to me, the world is your oyster. And that this is a saying in, 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 in American, which means that, you know, the world is up for you to grab. The opportunities are there. You guys are young. You guys are enterprising. You guys are smart. So you have to think of the world as your oyster. You don't need to be afraid of going to China and India and Africa and South America, because, uh, least, least to say Russia and the States and Europe. And as a global nation, I think this, will, this is much easier for us to think of the, of the world as an oyster than other nations that are very reclusive and, 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 and inclusive. So uh, we have, thanks to our history, sometimes our tragic history, we are dispersed across the world, but regardless of that, we always have had a global presence across different continents. This is our nature. This is our strength. And we have to work on it. We have to revive it. And I think that that is, re in a sense, that's, our, that's what's going to save us. That's what's going to allow us to survive in this different, difficult part of the world. So this is what I want to share with you. And I'm ready to answer any questions you may have. Should I stop sharing? No. Uh, yes, you can. You can do that, Alisa. You don't need just uh, just speak up. You don't okay. have to raise your hand. Um, first of all, thank you very much for the interesting and inspiring presentation. Uh, you talked about characteristics of other nations in negotiation. What do you think? How Armenians are in negotiation, or what they need to improve? Uh, that's an interesting question. I think. I think generally the business uh, culture in Armenia um, has to develop quite a bit. Is it developing and changing quickly? And, and, and I think we're quickly adapting to the international ways of doing business. Um, I generally, I think that Armenians are good negotiators. And, and a part of being a good negotiator is, being, is, is to be a good communicator. Uh, is to be also somewhat of a, uh, knowing what you want from the negotiation. So in order to be able to bargain and negotiate, you have to clearly know what you want and you have to be self-confident and be able to communicate effectively. Um, now there's different parts of Armenian culture, so I can't really speak to every Armenian negotiating, uh, but generally speaking, I do think that Armenians are quite kind of in the middle. So and that's why we're able to bridge between the different cultures. I would say that Japanese and Asians, for example, uh, have a different way of negotiating, Arabic people, Middle Eastern people, and the Western, uh, Western business people have a different, more dry kind of communication. Because of our culture and our ability to be a bridge between different cultures, I think instinctively we're able to mediate between these two different te teams. And that's our ability, that's our strength. 